My name is Lindsay Lucas and I am a seventh grade ELA teacher here at Eudora Middle School and I also coach uh, seventh grade volleyball. I coach the seventh grade B team. I'm a part of the PLC Plus Activators, the MTSS Committee, and the PDC. And I have been teaching for a total of nine years and um, three of those have been in Eudora. Something that I really love about being involved in coaching is that I get to build relationships with a bunch of my students outside of them being students in my classrooms. I get to see how the work ethic on the court and also their work ethic in the classroom kind of correspond and work together with each other. And I get to just see them in that other atmosphere and something they're passionate about that maybe isn't always what I'm talking about in my classroom. And something that I enjoy about being on the many committees that I'm a part of this year is that I get to have um, more of a voice and a say in some of the things that my coworkers and colleagues want to see changing in our school and some things they want as a part of their professional development. When we have a lot of our PD days, things that will benefit them and just helping their voices to be heard as well as mine when it comes to what we need as teachers. I would describe my job to someone in the community as maybe a chaos coordinator on most days, just because seventh grade is such a fun time to be alive and to be a teacher. You're dealing with a bunch of kids who you're teaching them how to be human beings. So there's a lot of chaos there. It's not always the subject content every single day, but most days it, it is at the same time. And so being able to teach these students the importance of how reading, writing, speaking, and listening will impact them not only their seventh grade year, but beyond in like different jobs they may wanna get someday or other aspirations when it comes to their education and just really putting those real world connections on what they're learning in class those are fun too. And so if I had to explain my class, it's not just the chaos that makes it fun and enjoyable and challenging, but it's also the relevance of our content that makes it worthwhile in the long run. A favorite lesson that I really enjoy doing is I, it's really small, but I really like doing writing activities that encourage students to look at pieces of literature and then make real, real world connections to those pieces of literature. So most days it's just a simple prompt that I put on the board with a small poem attached or a paragraph excerpt from a piece of literature we've read in class or something they've never read before. And then I create prompts that go with those items and have them think about their own personal connections and just how literature carries so much meaning to their lives, even in like the smallest little amount. So they can really see why what we're talking about, what we're learning in class matters. And we do that a lot. It's not just a lesson that I do once in a month, but it can be three or four times a week that we take time, like 10 or 15 minutes to do that. And those are my favorite lessons because the kids get really excited about them. Currently in English class, we are doing a lot of things. Um, we are reading A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and we are going to talk about all the elements of drama and what goes into a play itself because not a lot of students have interacted with plays before and it's a totally different writing style than they're used to in a novel. And we're also working on a cross-curricular project with Mr. Jacobs Social Studies class where we're looking at the importance of our local government and how aspects of our local government impact us as community members. And the students are going to end up writing an essay over what they've learned in Mr. Jacobs class as well as what they're going to learn from some of our community members who will come present to us. And that essay should be able to explain fully not only what they've learned about their local government, but also how it applies to them as current Eudorians and beyond into the future. My favorite part about working in Eudora definitely has to be just the welcoming atmosphere. I from the moment that I started teaching here, have always felt very accepted and very heard as a teacher. And just the amount of respect that I see that people have for each other in our community, across all of the schools, it just creates an environment where you feel safe to share your knowledge and your content, and an environment where you also want to learn from other educators and other people in our field who have experience in things that maybe you don't. 
And I just think that fostering of a welcoming community has really made me feel very happy to be here. I think the most rewarding thing about being an educator is the impact you can see that you've made down the road. And it's not for every kid. It, I'm not gonna hear from every single one of my students 10 years from now, 20 years from now. But when I do and I can hear something cool that's going on in their lives or that they've become a teacher because of me or something that I've taught them really sparked their interest enough to wanna be a teacher, um, to help others, I just think that is so powerful and impacting to see how we are creating lifelong learners and people who are becoming passionate about the same things that we're passionate about. I have quite a few favorite memories about teaching, but one of the ones that I think of right off the bat is that I have a lot of students who are a part of like Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. And uh, some of the things that I think are really interesting is that they will invite me to some of their like Eagle Scout ceremonies. And those are completely outside of school things, but for them to see me as a trusted enough adult in their lives to want to be a part of something they're doing outside of school that means a lot to them is truly really awesome. And I've also been able to be a part of one of my students when she became a United States citizen. And I got to go to her like welcoming in ceremony and where she got her certificate and all of her paperwork that said that she was an official US citizen. And just to see the excitement on her face and all the time and effort we put in together to filling out all her paperwork and making sure it was all okay um, was really also very cool.